Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to edit the crafting costs or requirements for different items on your ARK server. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you wanna host your own ARK server, then I recommend renting one from Nitrado. They're also the official server provider for Wildcard. Go to jcarterray.com forward slash nitrado to rent your own ARC server and help out the channel in the process. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm jcarterray from arcps4servers.com teaching you how to be better. And I received this question, I think it was like a week and a bit ago. Sorry it took me so long to get around it, but you know, been busy. But Aaron MechGHD says, how do you change the cost of what items cost? I didn't really understand that question. But after um, he told me he's seen a lot of servers with flak and clubs and weapons with different item costs. So a club would cost 80 polymer, five wood, and a set of flak would be 25 ingots, something like that. And I looked into it and I found a way to do it. So let me show you an example of what we're talking about and then I'll show you how to actually do it. So I have applied the code to a flak chest piece and I believe the quantity I chose was five hide, five fiber and one metal. Now the actual normal quantity of resources that you need to build a flat chest piece is 13 metal ingots, 10 hide and four fiber. So you can raise the requirements as well as lower them. So let's go into the smithy and we'll go to armor and we'll go to metal. And as you can see, we need five fiber, five hide and one metal ingot. So this definitely works and we can make a bunch of those. And also I put in a few other smithies just in case he was like, oh my God, no, he must be lying. He must have done something to that smithy. No, this is how it's occurring across the entire server. So yeah, let's get into showing you how to actually do this. So in order to edit the costs of your chest piece, your armor and that sort of stuff, you're gonna need to apply some code to your game any. And this is the code that actually dealt with the chest piece. So we've got the item class string and then the, the code for the item, metal shirt, primal item, all that sort of stuff, based crafting resource requirements. And then we got the resource item type string and all the stuff that you need there and then the numbers the quantity of it and then crafting require exact resource type and then false there so this is a bit complicated to say the least although you can copy this and pretty much you know use common sense and use the the commands out there to fill in the gaps and get what you want but i found this website that is very, very good. I will link it down below. That actually takes care of this for you. So this is the website. This is where I got that code from. You can see that's highlighted there. And this website is nipiro.de. I will link that in the description. Now the website user interface isn't the greatest and it isn't specifically primarily English. So it might be a little hard to understand but once you get to grips with it, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff with this website. They've got a lot of other features as well that I'll be covering in future videos. So you can edit your server exactly how you want it. So let's say we want to deal with some armor and we want to deal with, um, what do we want? Flak gauntlets or something. You can do... It seems you can do, can you do whole armor? No, it's each piece. So you can, let's do glider suit because that would be something that's more popular that people will want to make. So we'll just click on glider suit over there. Oh shit, first of all, let's go to the home page of the website. Let's go to the home page so you can see how it starts. This is where you will land on when you click on that link. Then you want to go to generator and then that brings you to this page. And then you can basically search for whatever item you want to do. So we can search for glider suit here. Just glider and then this is search. And then that'll bring up glider suit. Then we can click on that. 
and then you can just edit the quantities you can edit what it takes to craft it so if we didn't want it to take metal and we was like you know what we want it to take medjo berries <laughs> that would be the weirdest thing imagine that you need to use medjo berries so it takes 80 medjo berries and we'll keep the fiber we'll keep the blue gems we'll keep the hide and all that sort of stuff and we'll just edit you know the quantities We'll do that at 70, why not? We'll make the blue gems a little more expensive because you've got to use metro berries. And then you just want to save that using this button here. And then when you go back to the generator, this code will actually be down here. So as you can see, the flak chest piece is still there from earlier. And now we've got the glider suit code as well so you want to start from config override item that's where you want to copy from you don't want to copy this ar stuff although i'm not sure if this will make a difference and if it will stop it from working or anything but i just generally go from the code that i recognize and know is going to work so go from the config and then you can you can do this for multiple items you can keep on going and then all your codes will be displayed here and then all you want to do is Control c or command c depending on what platform you're using and then you want to post paste this at the bottom of your game any file so once you paste that at the bottom of your game any file you can just go to save if you stop the server which you should do i should have done that when i started this video but i had to film the example but basically you want to stop the server and then there'll be a save button down here and then generally you want to wait 10 minutes before editing and i'll say wait 10 minutes again before restarting after you save and then restart after you've done all that and then bob's your uncle you will have edited the crafting cost on your server i hope this video helps you guys out please let me know if you've got any other questions or any other tutorials that you want me to make in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next Ark Survival Evolved tutorial. Do you want to get more players and more exposure on your server? If your answer is yes, then go to arcps4servers.com right now. ArcPS4Servers.com is going to be my Arc server listing site where you can upload your server info and people can come and view through a list of servers and pick whichever one they want to play on. So enter your email address and you will get an email when the site officially launches and you can be one of the first people to have your server listed on the site. If you're watching this in the future, the site may already be up and you can submit your server information to be added to the list for free. You can also get a promoted spot on the website so you can get even more traffic and players for a monthly fee. Go to arcps4servers.com now and start to build your community. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.